Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how I made this IoT power meter to calculate the power produced by my solar panels. I got myself this cheap PWM solar charge controller, but it would only give me the charging voltage and not the power consumed. To calculate how much power my solar panels are producing, I made this IoT watt meter. Now these are my panels. One is a 100 watt panel and another one is a 50 watt panel giving me a total wattage of 150 watts. Now these are all the parts required to make the IoT power module. I salvaged some parts from cheap electronic circuits. Now it's important that we finalize the position of all the components so that we can minimize the use of wires while soldering. First of all, let's begin the assembly by soldering in the screw terminals. After soldering the screw terminals, it's time to fix the parts that will be used for voltage sensing. For voltage sensing, I'll be using a resistor divider network of 1 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm resistance. I'll be adding a 0.1 microfarad capacitor to stabilize the output voltage that will be going to the Arduino microcontroller. Next up, we shoulder the shunt resistance for the current measurement. This shunt has a value of 10 milliohms. Now let's fix the operational amplifier circuit used to amplify the small voltage drop of the shunt. For amplification, I'll be using a non-inverting amplification configuration with the resistor networks consisting of a 100 kilo ohm resistor and a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor, giving me an approximate gain of 46. I'm using the LM358 dual op amp IC. Next, we install the buck converter which will reduce the high solar panel input voltage to a reasonable voltage of 6 volts. I mark the position for the pins of the buck converter. Next, I install female headers and solder them on the breadboard. I also added a switch so that I can control when the IoT module is on or off. This switch goes directly between the solar panel inputs and the buck converter. Next I install the 7805 5V volt voltage regulator that will be used to power up the Arduino microcontroller. I add the female header pins that will be used to mount the Arduino Pro Mini.
Next, I install the AMS 3117 3.3 volt voltage regulator for the Wi-Fi module. soldering the header pins for the Wi-Fi module. Install the resistor divider network for the RX pin of the Wi-Fi module. Since the Wi-Fi module is 3.3 volt logic level and the Arduino works on 5 volt logic level, we cannot directly plug in the TX of the Arduino to the RX of the ESP8266. So I bring the voltage down to 3.6 volts by using a voltage resistor network of 1 kilo ohm and 2.2 kilo ohms. I also add a 22 microfarad filter capacitor to smooth out the voltage. Next we install the OLED display and for that I will be using a 4 female header. This is what the board looks like after completing the entire soldering process. I have made the board modular so that all the major components like Arduino, the buck converter, the Wi-Fi module or the OLED display can easily be removed or replaced if need be. Let's get the assembly complete. First we install the Arduino Pro Mini, followed by the buck converter in place. The Wi-Fi module and finally the OLED display. I am using this small jumper wire to connect the I2C connections from the Arduino to the OLED display. And with that our assembly is complete. Now let's get into the programming. For programming, I will be using this FTDI breakout board for Arduino Pro Mini. Let's upload the code. The details of the project could be found in the link given in the description. I have set up my project and along with the solar charge controller and a battery. These are the inputs of my solar panels. Let's connect it to the input of the IoT module. Next we connect the output of the IoT module to the input of the PWM solar charge controller. Once the connection is complete, it's finally time to power up the module. Let's switch on the module and wait for the internet connection to establish.
once it is connected to the internet, we can see the values of the voltage and current on the screen. connect our battery. For this I am using a 12 volt 18 amp hour lead acid battery. Once we connect the battery we can see the values of voltage, current and the power. Visualizing the data on my phone, I'm using the Blink app. As you can see, the real-time values are being published on my phone and I can check the parameters from anywhere in the world as far as I have internet connectivity. Hope you guys like this project. Feel free to share your feedback in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.